What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got uh, my brother in his Ram 1500, my buddy in his 2021 Tacoma, and another friend in a Jeep Cherokee. Don't ask me the year because I have no freaking clue. So we're gonna head out onto uh, some of the back roads and see what kind of trouble we can get into out there. So stay tuned guys. All right, let's get into it. So right here, we're uh, taking a trail down to the right that apparently runs parallel to a creek. And then after about a kilometer or two, there's a pretty awesome water crossing that uh, we'll be able to hopefully get across. And then uh, it opens up a whole nother area of trails that are apparently pretty cool. But uh, as you'll see shortly here, didn't quite work out as we planned.
right, what we were doing here is uh, we noticed there was a bunch of quads and side-by-sides sitting up on the trail, and uh, we actually thought they were stuck, so we stopped a little ways back to give them some room to work, but turns out they weren't stuck. They were just sitting there hanging out, taking a break, so we continued on our journey. So this is where our plans change. You'll notice the Jeep down to the right there. We were supposed to go across this uh, little bit of a water crossing, but well, it turns out that ice was not thick enough to even support the Jeep or the quad for that matter. So the quad is actually stuck immediately to our right now and the Jeep is managing to get through the water crossing and trying to turn around and come back. So uh, we're gonna turn around here and we're gonna give the quad a bit of a winch.
right here, you'll see me walking down. I'm uh, contemplating whether or not if I want to give it a shot or not, but there, there was two really large rocks that were uncovered in the uh, broken ice, and I didn't pr particularly feel like bashing in my undercarriage at this time, so I decided I'll give it a pass. Now we've got to get the Jeep turned around and back across that. Should be interesting to see what happens here. Well, that was enough messing around. Since our plans changed, we decided to uh, head on up to the east here and see where it ends up. As you see here, this trail got a little bit tighter than I anticipated and we actually ended up uh, getting a little bit out of the track, sliding off to the right uh, shortly here and uh, honestly I thought I caved in my door but we got lucky and I managed to just back out of it and put on, turn on the uh, front and rear lockers and we uh, got back up onto the track but uh, yeah it was, uh, it was tight, uh, you'll see it coming up here right quick here. So this is where we slid out of the rut. You can see there we uh, went down and honestly I thought there was a giant stump sticking out there but uh, I got really lucky. It was some little bit of shrubs and some snow and we managed to uh, back out of it and shimmy our way back on to the main trail and continued on our way. But that's the only downside to a wide heavy rig is uh, not always good in these slippery narrow trails. I had to stop and kind of assess the situation and look at my rig to see how bad it was. Uh, like I said a second ago, I thought I caved in the door, so I was taking a walk back to see what we were stuck up against. And turns out we got really lucky. So we didn't quite make it as far as we anticipated with the uh, sheer amount of snow that was still on the ground, as you see there. But um, we decided to just turn around, 
go up and uh, hang out, eat some lunch, and play around a little bit. And that's exactly what we did here. <laughs> Third time's a charm? No. Oh, she's stuck. No. Oh. Alright guys, so that pretty much wrapped up today's adventure. We didn't get where we wanted to go, but we made the best out of it. So um, if you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, tell someone you love them, and we'll see you on the next one.